Good afternoon. This is a short video on the Xtool D7 Smart Diagnosis Tablet. It is a wired connection and we are connected to a uh, older vehicle today. It's a 2004 year model USA Ford uh, F550 Super Duty with the 6.0 liter uh, Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. It's a very popular vehicle. Now, normally you can select Auto VIN Scan. But since this is an older uh, medium duty class six truck, it's a little bit older. So I may not pick it up uh, on the auto VIN read. So just select manual selection through the manual menu. We're selecting Ford uh, USA version V1320 is the latest update. And from here, you can select auto detect and it should at least select the, uh, the type of vehicle it is without reading the VIN. It's okay. Uh, so it is a 6.0 we convert confirm as a diesel and then from this menu the auto scan It'll go through all the different uh, Modules that are available on this truck, but uh, I can show you here real quick But uh, we're just gonna go into the system selection for PCM powertrain control and um, under the live data um, You'll also see a tab there for read codes um, on the Fords, when you select read trouble codes, you'll get more options than other manufacturers because they do a key on engine off test and a key on engine running test. This is very important. Sorry about the glare, but uh, that test right there is very important because it does go through a, a load and a various uh, turning off and on actuations of switches, relays, and sensors. So um, uh, we're just going to select the code here. See how quick it is. And we're gonna get a code here because we read it previously about a uh, turbo overboost condition, which is kind of common on these. But uh, let's see. Um, so we got cylinder five, cylinder contribution. Okay, so we can show you how to select how to select and use the live data to see the cylinder contribution and also the the special oh. functions on this tool has a not a uh, feature that where you can do special functions so actuation test this is where you can so disable the cylinders with the key on engine off and key on engine running obviously uh if you do the key on engine running you have to be at a temperature to be uh safe and not uh, cause problems uh so you can do the variable geometry and the turbocharger these are just various actuation tests but we wanted to go into the live data and under the live data for diesel, we're going to select the uh, pressure for the fuel. It's gonna be really quick here. And uh, if we can just scroll down. And we're gonna select control pressure, injector, desired injector pressure and regulator control. Combine them two. And now we have a nice graph. So if you look at the graph here, we got four parameters that we selected, red, orange, purple, and green. And those are your specs. Now see how it converted over to English unit of measure. We're gonna turn the key on and off so you can see the spike. You can hear the injectors buzz. There's your dip on the graph and we're gonna crank. You should see a spike up to about 700, 800, even up to nine and then stabilize. Look at that, that's great. This is very important. And then also the load test, you would uh, accelerate and you can see. There's your proof that the system is working. Thank you for watching. Watch for another video on the cylinder power balance cylinder contribution test.